We tend to take emotions for granted. We are always able to feel a background level of emotions, but it's like the feel of your shoes on your feet. You don't pay attention to it. They are much more important in guiding our behavior and our lives and our choices than we give them credit for. There's a common distinction between emotional empathy and cognitive empathy. Emotional empathy is reading the feelings of another person. Cognitive empathy involves what their intentions are. And the fascinating thing is that we can now connect them with events in the brain. The MRI just got here uh, this spring and we're already seeing a number of users who are very interested in taking advantage of the new technology. They have great theories and great questions and then we here at the center are trying to give them the tools that they need to bring their research into the MRI and get their studies up and running. We showed people different kinds of uh, uh, slides. Some were sexual, some were scenic, some were unpleasant, some were unusual. We also have people posing as if they were watching an emotionally loaded slide and also regulating where they are told to pose as if they are looking at something very negative when actually they're looking at something very positive and unknown to them we filmed their facial expression and then we asked the receiver to guess the emotions that the sender is experiencing and then we can get an estimate of how close they are at guessing the sender's emotions. These things that were previously hidden are now observable and measurable, and I think they are leading to a real revolution in the social and behavioral sciences. So that's one of the major goals of this research, is to look at the brain mechanisms underlying those very different kinds of judgments.